Hello everyone, Andy Breeding here with another caffeinated impressions for you. This time we're taking a look at Overfall, which right now is in early access from Para? 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 I, I don't know how to pronounce it. We're, I'm going to go with Para. It, we'll go with Para Games, as you can see in the bottom corner there. Um, this game is like your typical tactical RPG, except that it has permadeath for your main hero. Uh... <laughs> And it has this really, the only other really big thing I can notice, as you can see, is character design contest. Um, I'm guessing that you can design characters to be in the game when it's fully out. Uh, is this Story Builder. Now, with Story Builder, it's, you can basically write up your own story, fit it into the, and like kind of like, it's almost like a mod, I guess, for the game. And you put it in the game, and then it, you play the game that way. And what makes this also interesting is that, you know, anybody can write anything. It doesn't matter if it's good or bad. They can write something, throw it in there, and then maybe it doesn't come out right. Maybe it does. But they actually have a fellow by the name of Chris Avalon, I want to say. Is, I, I'm, again, I am terrible with pronouncing names, so forgive me. Um, he's mostly known for, like, Pillars of Eternity, FTL, Divinity, Original Sin 2, Icewind Dale, and a slew of other games that he's uh, worked on. And he's basically helping out with people to uh, essentially write better stories. And there's, um, oh my god, I forget what the name of the, the actual book is. Or it's, it's basically a writer's guide to help you write a better story. Like elements of style or something like that. I forget what, what he called the document. But it's like 10,000 words on how to write a better story and, and take your idea that you've written down and, and crafted into something really good to, before you put it into the story builder. Uh, and I think that's really freaking cool for everyone that's like, all right, I'll play the game that you designed. Then I'll go back and, you know, some people say, oh, I could have wrote this better. Well, now it's your chance to write something better. So I think that's really cool, but we're not going to mess with that. Um, maybe at another time we'll mess with it just because... Uh, I could sit there forever writing a story. So let's um, let's check the beginning of the game out. I haven't touched this game yet, so um, this will be from the very, very beginning. Fresh new save and all that jazz. All right, new game. Okay. I guess I get two characters to start with. It's kind of like a um, Divinity Original Sin too. <laughs> um. Or Original Sin, because Original Sin 2 is not out yet. I think they're working on that now. Um, <laughs> interesting. All right, uh, what do I want? I want a fighter and a cleric. I guess cleric heal. Yeah, that's kind of what I want. I want to be able to heal and attack, so we'll do that. Do I get to pick this? Oh, no, I don't get to pick that, I guess. Oh, you have to unlock other heroes. So what do we have here? We have a monk, guardian, druid, rogue, ranger. Ooh, ranger. I love rangers. Wizard and warlord. All right. So I can't select any other skills. This is what I start off with. Oh, you even unlocked weapons too. Interesting. Okay, so... All right, skills, can I change? Okay, you unlock skills too, okay. And it tells, at, at least it gives you a hint of where to unlock, like this one, visiting the orcs for the, this one may be for the faint hearted. You speak their language well enough. All right. I'm gonna leave everything at, what? All right, leave everything at default. Yeah, yeah, what, you know what? Let's leave everything at default and see what we come up with here. Uh, let me move this pen out of my way so I don't accidentally fling it into my face. <laughs> yeah, alright. Enter the portal. Would you like to enable the feedback dialogue? Yeah, sure, why not? S some say the Vorn cannot be stopped. Choosing your hilt upgrade. Hey, I was still reading that. Um... Alright. 
You have made it through the portal and back to your home world. Okay, so it gives you a little narrative up here, and then the character's talking down here as well. How do I continue to go? Oops. Magical and Oh, okay, it gives me my uh, listing for what I have. All right. How do I... Can oh, I can pick who talks. I'll go with you. That's pretty cool. Look, special bubbles. Each character has a unique personality trait that constitutes their viewpoint on certain situations and can drastically alter the outcome of an encounter. Oh. That's pretty cool. Alright. With his eyes wide. Oh, you know what would be cool? This I like how this has this up here and then the actual dialogue's here. You can have two people play this game, right? And someone can be the narrator. Someone that has a really good voice. And can read fairly well. Uh, read the top part here as you're playing down here. That would be awesome. Oh wow, they really. All right, I'm really digging this game. Uh, God knows for generations my family has lived this spot. Lucky one to fulfill our family prophecy now. I think that's been an anomaly in time when we enter the portal. Let's try that. Nervous, but not many could foresee this would happen, except for one wizard. Ezeal. What message? Imagine there's just not to die as first. Wait, I don't want to get those beacons. Oh, they both have the same freaking bubble. Cool, we get a ship. How is this in... Yo, this is some straight uh, Ubisoft shit. <laughs> How was this encounter? Uh... I'm... I'm gonna skip this. I should have turned it off. I shouldn't have added that. That's just gonna make me think too hard. Alright, now what? Do I tell myself where to go? Oh. Oh, wow. All right. How do I scroll? Oh. Oh! Oh, I'm supposed to go. Where am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to go wherever I want to? Me cold, cold night, mean cold cave. And you help, yes, help make fire. Eh, sure. Sweet, I got food. What? Oh, okay, I'll get. I Oh, okay, you can type in comments too. Okay, let's give feedback on that. I guess because it says I went there? Alright, let's try here. This is weird. Evidence of the island's village. Okay. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, enjoy the plague season. Bye. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Alright, let's go see what we can do. Yeah. Uh-oh. Battle time. Ooh, okay. Movement phases where you either move your character to target hex or use a mobility skill. Leaves to target hex. Deals two damage to foes. Moves the character. All right, can I just move here? Utility phase, unbreakable. I can't do that one.
What? Okay. Skip button or press E. Where's the skip button? You can click the skip button or press E to skip this phase. I don't see a skip button. Am I missing something? Whoa. Okay. I don't... Is this a skip button? Oh, okay. Should mark that more clearly. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Ow. Alright, what can I do? Two buffs have cast on foe. All right, applies fear. Suck it. Four damage. Suck it. Uh oh. I don't know what the hell happened there. Ow. Yo, why you gotta kick me, man? Oh, I gotta wait for that to recharge. Alright, that doesn't work. Heal! Uh, deal three damage. Holy Nova. That doesn't reach. That doesn't reach either. Alright, guess I'm not doing anything that turn. Suck it! Chop you. Mm. Ooh, damn. Knocked her all the way across. Oh, he bandaged himself up. Wait, why was that locked? Oh, I can't move. Oh wow, okay, I can't move. Hammer! Suck it. And wave of light. Wong. Move first, okay. Suck it. Mm. That didn't work. 
Suck it. Get out of here. Foot stomp you. What's that? Parry again. Increase number seven. Rig yeah, rigorous. Oh, cool. All right, let's return to the village. You unlocked a companion for your next playthrough. Gaining reputation with the races will accumulate fame. Oh, wow. I get a witch doctor. I'm called a witch doctor. Do, 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 do. I don't know how that song goes. Do I? How do I? How do I? Oh. Restore health to a character. Use the food button below their portrait or keyboard hotkeys one and four. There we go. Okay, so that's how you heal, but you gotta have food to do it. All right. I went there, went here. Let's go here. Yeah, well, keep waiting. Bye. <laughs> oh, man, this is so cool. Ooh, the warlock. Crap. Oh, cool. I unlocked it. Nice. Yeah, buddy. Alright, so we got that. Okay, so they have the buoys next to the things to know where you actually went. Contains altar? Yeah, sure. Oh crap, maybe I shouldn't have gone here? I have no idea what I did there. Um, human dwarf. Interface looks a little busy. Contains in. All right, let's go there. All right, so you can buy food. Talk with the man standing out there. Sure, why not? Okay. Um, sure. Paper wraps stone. Scissors cuts paper. Stone blunt scissors. Simple as that. Sure, let's do this. Rock paper scissors. I'm gonna go with paper. Ah, you mother. Wait, he knows what I'm going to pick. Well, that bastard cheated, man. He knows exactly what I was going to pick. All right, I'm going back to my ship. Alright, let's um let's try one of these ships and see what happens. Hey. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. What do you want? Alright, sure. Screw you, I'm taking your ship. Wow, vigor. Oh no. What what the hell? So oh damn. 
Oh, I can't reach him. Suck it. Hammer! Mm. No confusion. Alright, skip that. No buffs on him. Yeah. Yeah. Ow! Ow! Help me! Alright. Uh, that doesn't work. Can I go back to this? Ah, uh, can't move. I uh, can't move. Can't use this? Spell. No more bus for you. Then Hamo. Ow. Uh oh, deep ups on me. And my phone just went off. Put that on silent. All right. Uh, don't need to move. Heal. And then wave of light. The hell is that guy doing? Enraged. Double speed damage taken. Can't. Double speed damage taken. Alright. Wow, he's a. Alright. It's not gonna hit him, so I gotta do that. Hmm. Oh god, please don't hurt. Please don't hurt too bad. I do. Skip that. That doesn't. Oh, that will reach. Alright. that do again all right we are removes two debuffs of cast on an ally all right let's cast it on you to get rid of that target buff then holy nova on this I win yeah uh oh all right so you can resurrect your fallen heroes by visiting an altar it costs one rune 
Well, your main heroes can always be resurrected. Companion deaths are permanent. Oh, wow. Okay, so the main hero can always be res main heroes can be resurrected, but companions die and they're gone. Wow, that's damn. All right, and now there's a big skull there and portal, 1.1 day away. Let's go this way. I wonder how far I can go without it like. Oh, there's a portal. That's the portal there. Oh man, they ran into me. Oh, I'm dead. And spear me. Oh, you can't throw that far? Um. Oh wait, skip. Heal. Wait, what's this do? No, I want that one. I'm gonna die anyway. And spear to the face. Nope. Surprisingly. Uh, that doesn't work. Alright, back out of that. Oh. Spear. That doesn't work. Alright, skip out of that. Suck on this before I die. Mmm. Oh, damn, he headbutted. Oh! And... What? Oh, because I had that stack on me. I should be dead here, though. There we go. New score. Okay, let me see. World returns and turns and returns to where it's begun, but something is different this time. Score 122. Unlocks. Pans can be found in the adventure ships. Restart main menu. Let's go back to the main menu. Alright, so this is Overfall. Really, really enjoy it. Yes, there's not a lot of audio besides the background music, but that's okay. Like I said, this gives you a chance to, you know, act out your inner dungeon master, so to speak. Oh, man. For being an early access game... I think this is pretty cool. Uh, the the UI is a little busy on the screen, so it's kind of hard to see where you need to go, and, and it's just it's a little cluttered. Probably needs to be cleaned up just a little bit. Character designs are really cool. Um, it reminds the character designs remind me a little bit of that um, Heroes Academy game that was on iOS and then came to uh, I believe it's on Steam now, or it's been on Steam. But yeah, that's Overfall. Uh, if you want to check it out. Again, it's an early access. It's $9.99 on Steam. And yeah, I hope to see you guys playing this game. I'm going to play a lot more of it, and I can't wait for it to come out of early access. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys soon. Later.